The triple A game fi Emmett Triple <laughs> A. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. The <clears throat> the triple A game fi MMORPG Bless Global pre-registrations have surpassed 1 million. Bless Global's first batch of mystery box sells out within minutes and VIP pass becomes a hit. Yeah. <laughs> Bless is back. But not only is it back, there are millions of players that are already pre-registered that are lined up ready to play it. Which leaves me sitting here wondering what is wrong with you all before we go any further i just want to take a moment here to thank all of the absolute chads and chadettes that support this channel via patreon you're all freaking legend seriously each and every single one of you additionally if you want to stay up to date with all the latest mmo gotcha and gaming news take a second here to follow mrs six and i over on twitter we tweet daily as of october 18th pre-registrations for triple a game fight mmorpg Bless Global has surpassed 1 million people. A good reputation and high expectations from users together. I can't, I can't. Guys, guys, Bless has a good reputation. In what world does Bless have a good reputation? In what world does Bless, any kind of Bless title, have high expectations from users. Who, how much were these people paid to write this? A good reputation and high expectations from users together contributed to its exponential growth, which has drawn massive attention and heated discussion. Yeah, that, see, this makes sense. Heated discussion among various communities. The game combines the original Bless IP with play to earn gameplay which helps make a strategic move towards the web 3.0 era. Before that, the company already won plenty of praise from over 5 million players once released. Now, before we go any further, I do just wanna take a moment here to discuss this little paragraph. On October 18th, the company behind Bless Global started to sell the first batch of Whispering Baron at 1990 USDT each with a limited stock of 2,000 on the NFT platform Pocket Buff. All mystery boxes were sold out right after going on sale. Literally, within minutes, they had sold all 2,000 items of the limited stock, mind you, valued at 1990 USDT. That is crazy. The fact that people are willing to spend anything at all on a blessed title, and more than that, 2,000 people within minutes of it going live. Wow. The PC game Bless, a medieval fantasy MMORPG developed by NeoIs, has received you. Wait, what? The Bless MMO developed by NeoIs, the PC Bless Online, the very first one, has received unanimous praise from the media for its stunning graphics. Really, it did? This game, this game received unanimous praise for its stunning graphics. Are you sure about that? Bless Unleashed, a remake of Bless by NeoWiz powered with the new Unreal Engine 4, has become another global hit as one of the best Korean games on major platforms. <coughs> Evidently, Bless has also gained great popularity in Asia, making it to the top 12 best sellers in the store. Bless Global kept the original content and background of Bless perfectly depicting a vivid medieval fantasy world with epic storytelling and console level graphics. With diverse gameplay and scene design, the game has been tailored to the needs of users who have different backgrounds and preferences. Yep, this, this right here is uh, the combat the gameplay for bless global this right here is uh this is comparable to the gameplay to the graphics that were present in bless online bless on Le clearly yeah it's advanced game engine allows for enriched scene design, including improved multi-dimensional scenes, environments, biological systems, model poly counts, and texture performance. Dude, this is a bunch of buzzwords because that game looked like absolute trash. Nothing at all 
what this is depicting. Equipped with such a powerful tool, the game presents players with realistic characters and scenes, unleashing the power of legendary storytelling. <laughs> Korean games have never, ever had good stories. J MMOs, Japanese MMOs, that is where the storytelling is at. Korean MMOs, no one has ever accused them of having good storylines or possessing any ability to tell a compelling narrative. In Bless Global, players can explore different gameplays such as dungeons, PvP, PvE, resource collection, and cultivation, all of which are completely autoplay. It also supports play to earn mining and transactions. Unlike any other traditional MMO game, the Web 3.0 game Bless Global grants players greater flexibility in ownership, control, and trade of their in-game assets and collectibles. Wow, that is innovative. Bless Global is published on the platform Pocket Buff, which allows users to log in with mainstream social media accounts. Anyone can join. Pocket Buff is also embedded with a secured payment system that helps users to purchase cryptocurrencies with their credit card in a minute. The company does not plan to issue tokens in the short run, instead it will focus on NFTs, mystery boxes, which as is evidenced by the other articles, sold out within minutes, and non-tradable gears first to ensure an enjoyable game environment, a stable play-to-earn game lifespan, and enough space for user acquisition. Their goal? To prioritize quality and gameplay. Because hearing bless really encourages, really emphasizes quality and gameplay above all else, right? Bless Global incorporates the IP and the original gameplay of the Web 2.0 game Bless. The relevant data shows Bless has attracted tens of millions of loyal players. Tens of millions. That is incredible. These players must have brain damage because tens of millions of loyal players and only one million of them are pre-registered ready to play the game. So that that is like a net 90% or more that are not nearly as loyal as you're, you're alluding to, right? Its publisher has proven to provide quality game services for over 200 million users in the past 10 years. Undoubtedly, the unique storytelling and diverse gameplay of Bless Global will offer its players a perfectly immersive experience, which means more opportunities to explore the value of NFT assets. Oh joy! The NFT-centered GameFi Web 3.0 model allows the game to secure its foothold against the backdrop of a token's downturn in a bear market. Meanwhile, it encourages users to focus on the gameplay, not just the play to earn, because the gameplay looked so fluid and so engaging. Man, when I when I log into Bless Global, I, I know for a fact I'm gonna be incredibly enthralled. I'm gonna be glued to the screen, watching it play for me. <laughs> it is said that the beta test of Bless Global will start officially in November, with several airdrop events to be held in the coming days. For those who are interested, please follow Bless Global over on Twitter. You know what, I'm actually curious here, how many followers does Bless Global have? 40,000 almost. Wow, man, that is actually impressive. And the fact that they're they're 12, 20 likes, 18 likes. You know what, their, their Twitter for almost 40,000 is kind of dead, especially given, oh, they, they, they actually go on to claim these were sold out in seconds, not in minutes like the news websites were claiming. So guys, Bless Global, the very first triple A budget Bless MMORPG. You guys saw the gameplay. You guys know what to expect. There are over a million people here that are pre-registered. I am in genuine shock and awe that there are a million people that are willing to give Bless their time and potentially their money. But I felt kind of the same way when it was announced that Bless Unleashed was coming out on console. And then when Neo is announced, Bless Unleashed was re-releasing, but onto PC as well and selling Founders Packs. And there were tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of people that bought Founders Packs. I, I feel like Bless players are gluttons for punishment. Now, if Bless Global does not look like the game for you, then I completely understand. Good on you for having a brain. Now, there are two videos on screen right now that are 
100% better alternatives to this garbage. One is featuring an absolutely incredible looking upcoming gacha game that I urge you to go ahead and check out. The other is featuring a list of MMOs that released this month that you need to check out. 